see what a Saturday it's going to be. I've just been to the toilet in the men's. Oh, God. I'm on my way. I'm not that far away. I've overslept. Can you believe it? It's supposed to set off at, uh, what time was it? Half past four. I'm laying in bed this morning thinking, didn't think it was like half past four. No, it wasn't like half past four. It was seven o'clock. So luckily, I'm at Red Rocket, been giving it some welly. And I'm about 50 minutes away now. So if you wanted to say hello, I'm not there yet. I'll be there about um, 11, I think. I think about 11. <laughs> I've just stopped at the Scruffiness Cafe in the world. Look, there it is, that, just to fill my brew up. I've come off the motorway at the wrong bit, so that's why I found it. Um, but um, I better get there anyway. I brought all my hats, so I'm just got starting off with the furry one. So I'm about an hour away now at this minute. So I better get on, Anna. Better get moving. <laughs> Finally got here, can you believe it? <laughs> it's um, 11 o'clock and I'm just walking through this field now and there's nobody around. I think they're probably all detecting and finding uh, Saxon treasure. And um, I'm just trying to find the ticket office. But it's better late than never, eh? I'm like the Queen a little bit really, aren't I? Oh no, the Queen doesn't have money, does she? Is the Queen late? Not sure. Anyway, I'm here. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. I can't hardly speak. I'm so excited. It's brilliant. Look. And, um... <laughs> She's been upgraded. Hang on. Henry has been very kind. He saw my pinpointer, which looked like that. And he was, um, he just took it off me and he swapped it for that. Oh, that's fab, isn't it? I bet I won't be able to use that either. I was just found a hoard. So we're getting a phone call from Gary Smith from the Medway Rally. We're at Detectable, the launch of the AT Max, and it's just found its first hoard. Is that Gary on the phone? That's Gary Smith. Can I speak to him now? We're about 150 metres on the other side of the hill with, like, like Bun Ingots, like a founder's hoard. God, Whoa. that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So, the field's so there you go, you see. Gary Smith <laughs> found a hoard, and I was in a competition with him, and I've already just got here. Look, I'm really crying. Do you know I'm really crying? Look at my hat. Can you see it? Do you want to see my new machine? Oh, <laughs> they give me an AT Max. Oh, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. Absolutely chuffed to bits. I've not even started detecting yet. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I'm just in a, in a, in a like a, what would you call it? A fluster. <laughs> I was worried about being lonely, but look, we've got um, Silver Stee, Andy Cav. Oh, I'm so chuffed, and here's a standard. You want me to show you some of what's made my day? Look, you've got Aqua Chigger there with his signatures, and then you've got Jocelyn Elizabeth there looking lovely with hers. And then look, you've got me with my furry hat on. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm over the moon. I proper am over the moon. My blood pressure's about 190. It's fabulous. Phil Fragil, and we've got Carol. And look, this is the person I really wanted to see though. It's Angel, it's Dickie's mummy. Angel, hello. Aww. Aww, Dickie's mummy. for hours and hours and then Jocelyn has been encouraging me to get a pint of lager we finally made it onto the field now people said there's not a lot of signals here but um, you've got to walk over it haven't you so she's there now in the back <laughs> you filming me Phil there she is look my new friend Jocelyn <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so anyway I think we I'm going to get a Roman and she's going to get a Roman and then we're going to go off and we're going to be um, <laughs> celebrating later because we're the 18 max girls now yeah so i can already tell with this 18 max my new toy uh, as i'm going along there's like little very faint signals now when people have said before can hear something faint this 
I just need one solid faint. I'm going to go for it. There's nothing here, honestly. That's why I've not dug anything. I've been walking for miles. But I'm not giving up. Oh, this machine's brilliant. I can hear little things that I would never have heard before, ever. Trouble is, I don't know what they are, but I'm just going to dig anything that's over 50. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Roman coin. Come on, Roman coin, where are you? I know you're hiding from Donny. Wouldn't that be brilliant, that, if I found a Roman coin with this? Mind you, if I did, people would probably say I planted it. But um, anyway, I'm going to keep hunting. So, we've walked miles and miles and miles. So much land here, but apparently, up at that top bit there, they found some Roman coins. So, Jocelyn's looking for a Roman coin. My, my friend, mine, lab man. <laughs> <laughs> look at your camera and look at mine. Look at your camera and look at mine. I think they're comparable, really, though. Huh? I think we both have pretty similar cameras. Look, it's me being filmed by you, being filmed by me, being filmed by you. It's like mental. Anyway, there's not any signals on here, but we only want a Roman coin. That's what we want, one each. So I'm going to keep going after the Roman coin. I don't think I've ever been on a field when there's absolutely not even any signals. I know some people have walked 13 kilometres yesterday without anything, so I'm feeling quite happy at the minute that I found an Asda bag. Bag for life. Don't know what that's doing in the middle of the field, that rubbish. Um, but, nope. That's about AT Max. But it's not about, really, it's not about um, detected today, although that's what it is. I've had such a fantastic time. I mean, really have. It's been absolutely fantastic. And I, I weren't that looking forward to it, if I'm honest. I was, I was a bit feeling a bit nervous because we're down on my own and that. And I shouldn't have been nervous because it's been absolutely brilliant. The only problem is now, I need a wee. And even though I'm on 100,000 acres of land or something, or half of Oxfordshire, um, I've come over in these bushes. I thought I'd be right, because I'm desperate. Because I've had a pint of lager before. And uh, now I can see a man up there. What I'm going to have to do is just pretend I'm digging an hole. Because I don't think I could hold it in much longer. <laughs> oh, now we did back. have a stick on Tash today. Because I thought I might need to hide from people to like do a bit of detecting. But as it is, I've loved meeting every single person out there. So I'm going to save me Tash for after. So that quite suits me all, doesn't it? been detecting this field for about an hour with no signals. Anyway, I came across something faint here, so I kicked that bit of top soil off. Oh, now it's a three. It was an eight. No, give up with this hole. And there it is, the very first signal find with the AT Max. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Please, please, please be somewhat good. I only need one signal, one good thing that'll do. Got a new carrot, look. I don't know how, how much deep that goes. Oh, come on, please be good. Please be good. God, this is an absolute mission in nightmare. Trying to dig in here. And film. I think it sounds a bit big, that, doesn't it? It sounds like a big uh, blob of iron. To right, be move some more. It's there, whatever it is. Ooh, isn't it exciting? I love it, it first hole. It's like when you when you very first start detecting. like when you very first start detecting, isn't it? If you can get rid of these big boulders. God. Be a Roman coin, come on, please. Please. Cat, you see, I've got no sense of, of with this carrot because I've never used one before. I've got no sense of how deep that is. I've got no sense of anything. I just think it's a bit of iron. This I know it's oh wait, something coming up a bit iron here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a Roman tent peg. Roman tent peg. Well, it's a find, isn't it? <laughs> So that is my very first find with my AT Max, a Roman tent peg. 
Uh, I mean, I dug it up just because it was a signal, and any signal will do. It's like a... <laughs> quite pleased with that. I can't tell you how happy I am. I really can't tell you. I know I've not found anything, and I've not done much detecting, but I've met lovely people, and I've met people at my Facebook group, and I've met people <laughs> from, from everywhere, even from people from France, uh, Domus 29, met Domus 29 from France and people from Austria. It's been fantastic. You know, if you ever get a chance to come to something like this, I definitely make the effort. Right, I've got another signal now. It was pretty faint, but like I say, you dig anything, don't you? So, it's there. Luckily, I'm being able to point, pinpoint quite good with this. I've got no idea with this carrot, though, how deep anything is. Because uh, normally, the other, you're practically on it. Well, it's buzzing. Oh, there's a bit of an hole there. Come on, Roman. Come on, Roman. Roman, Roman. Roman, Roman. Is that it? Oh, oh, I need my gloves on, really. Nope. Is that it? Nope. What's that? It's a bit, it's a bit of a stone. Oh, come on, where are you? Oh. Is that it? There it is. Found it. And it is a bit of a Roman. <laughs> it's like, it's like Play-Doh, this clay. Uh, I don't think it's round. Uh, it could be something exciting. You can get the stuff off it. Don't know. Can't tell, can you? Hang on. Well, I thought it might have been a little statue at first, but I think it's just a bit of um, rubbish, but it's my rubbish and it's a bit of rubbish I'm going to keep because I found it on my best day of detecting ever. I mean, I could wash it in and it could be like a picture of, a, it could be a statue or something like that, you don't know, do you? It probably won't be, but I can dream till I get back. Other people, this bit of field of water's about three and a half miles here because um, apparently 100 Roman coins have come out of this patch of land, but it's so big, the land. But I haven't found anything, I haven't even found any signals. But uh, it's, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, I'm off again now. I just wanted to pop in and say hello. And uh, I'll pop off again, but I will pop on after and let you know <laughs> how I'm getting on. Right, this is the strangest thing ever in the world. I found a piece of paper. Can you see it? A piece of paper. Right, watch. How can you have a metallic piece of paper? And it's not my rings, look, because my rings are on that hand. How can you have a metallic piece of paper? That's, that's very strange, isn't it? I think there's something in it. Should I look what's in it? Oh, something in it. A bit of metal. That mess up makes sense, doesn't it? So, um, uh, I don't know what that is. I've never found a metallic bit of paper before, so that's the first. It's probably Roman. Well, I think it might be time to head back now. Been, there's nobody around and what miles? And I can't believe there's no signals. Apparently, this used to be a very thick forest in medieval days, and because it was a thick forest, then obviously nobody walked past it. Uh, and I, but I have found a Roman tent peg, haven't I? So I'm going to head back to over that party bit at the, at the at base camp because it's ace there. And then I'm going back to, I'm going to an hotel in a bit. <laughs> Look at that sky there in that rain. So we've just decided to run off, haven't we, Jocelyn? Yeah. Oh, your hair looks nice in the sun. Oh, I lit up. Yeah, so I think we better run down that hill, haven't we? <laughs> Let's get running. Running for beer. My lovely hotel room. Yep. So I'm just in here for a minute, I'm getting changed quick and then I'm off out on um, beer o'clock with Jocelyn and Nigel Rector. So I've just been for my breakfast now with Aqua Chig, what a nice man he is. And um, just packing all my stuff, checking I'm not leaving anything or losing anything and uh, then we're heading off back to the field. <laughs> I 
could Jocelyn with her export? <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be. So we're coming to the end of the best weekend ever. I tell you what, it's been fantastic. Absolutely mega. It's been the best weekend I've ever had. It really has. So I'm going to come to one of these again because I really liked it. <laughs>